There's a major new development in the search for missing Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. Officials have confirmed the final resting place of the ill-fated plane is not where so-called acoustic pings were detected off the WA coast. The news leaving relatives of the missing passengers devastated. Mother of two, Danika Weeks, has been waiting for answers for the past 77 days. I just don't know where to go now. Look, I've just, I've just zoomed back to day one. Her husband, Paul, was on board missing flight MH370. Today, her hope of a resolution was crushed. It just is another slap in the face. It's just another long road for us. And um, look, I'm just, I'm just, I'm shattered by the news. I'm absolutely shattered. The US Navy now says those acoustic pings detected in an 850 square kilometre area in the Indian Ocean were not from the missing black box, more likely a ship. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau says they'll now go back to the drawing board. The area can now be discounted as the final resting place for MH370. A Chinese survey ship has begun mapping the Indian Ocean floor. That will take three months. The information they collect will be brought back to Fremantle every week for processing. How do you prepare yourself about the possibility that you'll never know what happened? Um, I don't. I don't. I, ca I can't. That, that's not a question I allow myself to have right now. A new underwater search will begin in August, which will aim to find any evidence of the plane. In all, Australia's efforts are likely to cost taxpayers $90 million, but there are no guarantees, with families of the missing passengers left to find some sense of normality. It'll haunt me forever until I know. So I don't know how long that's going to be. You know, is that, if that's my lifetime, that's my lifetime. Um, but I won't stop trying to find the truth. Josh Yerger, Nine News.